Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, non wall video. Today I would like to talk about fry pans. There are a lot of good and just opinion based opinions on what good and what is bad fry pan, whether they should buy stick, non-stick, uh, cast iron, copper, and now you choose but everyone claims to be professional and knowing exactly what's good what's bad and everyone has opinion on non-stick coating and things like that so what i'd like to do is get the record straight if you would like to cook and most healthiest what they call fry pan I would focus more on food that you cook and not fry, fry pan itself. We've got so much poison in the way of food that fry pans insignificant in the way that we're poisoning our bodies. However, if you're totally health freak, freak and you believe that you would like the best fry pan you can afford, then I suggest to buy either cast iron or just good quality stainless steel one and deal with a proper demand of um, oils and fats and whatever you cook make sure it doesn't stick in the reason why i emphasize that is the moment food getting stuck in the fry pan and the scientific terms is called advanced flocation product that is what caused uh, cause cancer also what causes cancer is peeling non-stick so today is video about Tefal. By the way, every fry pan that I'm talking about today will be below in description. Uh, I buy my stuff on Amazon. Uh, quite good pricing out there. Good choice. You can get from different countries. You know, some people say made in China, not good. Some people say, look, it should be made in France. Honestly, technology is technology. If you can claim your warranty locally, that's what matters. I'm in Australia. I buy from Australia. Yes, most of the fry pans are uh, Chinese. However, if you look after them, they last a long time and also they come with 10 years warranty, so not to worry about that. <sighs> Let's go back to healthy cooking. First of all, I would not use copper fry pans and the reason is that because copper reacts with um, other uh, minerals in our body, uh, so it's reactive with... Um, I know aluminium and other things so when you cook it on the copper fry pan first of all it oxidizes and and corrodes easier but also uh, as good as it's good heat conductor and convenient to cook on uh, it will disbalance minerals in your body so copper out of the way again if you like to cook on non-stick uh, please use cast iron or um, good quality ceramic or whatever is not leaching chemicals into food but also if you know how to cook and you're not overheating your fry pans i'd suggest any quality non-stick fry pan is good for you um, if you're not overheating them if you're not abusing them there will be nothing leached in your food today i would like to show you what does mean abused fry pan and non-abused fry pan so i've got some um, 24 26 centimeter fry pan from tefal that i'm using for the last 10 years i would like to just bring closer uh, there's a couple maybe little scratches and whatsoever but i look after fry pan that's 10 years old fry pan maybe nine now i would like to show you fry pan that i bought today Oh, well, I bought a couple of days ago, it's right from Amazon, but uh, I bought uh, last week and a fry pan that someone gave me to show what can happen to a fry pan if you abuse it. So this fry pan is four years old that was cooked on in a high heat. How do you know? I'll try to get more light on it. How do you know it was cooked on high heat? First of all, you can see browning of the fry pan. 
that's a heat exposure that you can see advanced location product will go on into fry pan into coating itself and coating was leached into food it's a lot of poisoning when that happens and second look what was done to very good non-coating non non-sticking non uh, surface it's literally like a sandpaper it's very rough and here's the same fry pan when it's new look that's how it looks when it's new that's one how it looks like uh, when it's overheated so when you buy a fry pan of that quality I'll suggest look after it first of all when you cook on it try not to overheat it use quality oils and cook slower don't rush your cooking secondly ideally wash your fry pan by hand in soapy water uh, it is okay to put in a dishwasher it's not a problem but when you finish dry it and season it with oil very lightly it should stay you know people don't like wood but i use it a bit moist uh, or oily right and that way you will preserve and use it for 10 years i'm not kidding this one you will probably not even tell almost 10 years old that's how good they are if you look after them and i'm pretty sure if you cook on, on a lower heat nothing will leach into your food i've got a couple of uh, fry pans uh, fry pans from uh baccarat or baccarat i'm not sure how to pronounce it properly i think they are stone coated ceramic uh if you would like me i can review them but my daily drivers are tefal because they're smooth because they're easy to work with and they're good for if you buy quality ones not the cheap ones if you buy quality ones they're good for every single single surface including induction um, how do you know it's including induction because it will be saying here uh, induction technology and uh, quality ones would be stainless steel bottom and would have all the serial numbers that means that's genuine ones so here you go tips and tricks about fry pans how to look after them and not get caught into debate um, about whether non-stick fry pans are good to cook on or if they leach in chemicals look after them maintain them and you will be all right if you like this video or any other videos on my channel please feel free to subscribe hit the notification bell and let me know down in the comments if you would like me to film uh, about anything else um, and um, I will try to create that video